Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jim Constantopoulos and I'm in charge of the environmental science program here at Eastern New Mexico University. The environmental science program is a composite program with a strong geology emphasis that prepares you to go out and work in the field. Today we're going to start off, we're in our water testing laboratory and over here we have a number of uh, benchtop instruments and meters that we use for testing various parameters on water like pH and hardness, salinity, oxidation reduction potential, uh, fluoride content, and a number of other parameters. So over here we have a UV Vis spectrophotometer and this is also for water testing and on this instrument we test for organic pollutants in natural waters and wastewater uh, so we can analyze for ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, phosphorus, and those sorts of things that have some real environmental impact. And this is all instrumentation that students are able to use in classes as well as in research projects. Over here, we have equipment for grinding and crushing rocks. And uh, we will go to my other laboratory and we'll show you what we do with that stuff after it's ground up and crushed up. Okay. Hey everyone, here we're in our uh, x-ray laboratory and we have two x-ray instruments that students are able to use in coursework and in research projects. This instrument over here is called an x-ray diffractometer. And what this instrument does is we can run samples, powdered samples, and here's a couple of examples of what these samples look like. And what this instrument does is it allows us to identify crystalline materials. This has great applications in geology and environmental science, even forensics. So if someone came to me with a powder that they had no idea what it was, or a mineral that they didn't know what it was and I couldn't identify it by sight, we would run it in this instrument and we would get an output like this, which we can analyze with the software and it'll tell us what crystalline materials are present. This instrument over here is an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer and this does chemical analysis. And most of the time what we do is we take the sample and it's pressed into a little disc that looks like this. We put it in this instrument and we can analyze for every element in the periodic table from fluorine to uranium. So it's a really powerful instrument. Again, this has great applications in geology, environmental science, archaeology, forensics. Uh, if you can put it in there, you can analyze it. So it makes it for a really powerful instrument. And then over here, we have our sample preparation equipment. Uh, this is a press for pressing those little pellets that we use in x-ray fluorescence. And this tool over here, this actually melts rocks. So one of the ways in which we can analyze is to actually take the rock, mix it with a powder, and melt it into a glass disc. And uh, it's just really cool to see molten rock. So in the environmental science program, all majors must complete a senior research project during their senior year. And on the wall here, we have some posters from last year's research. And I'm really looking forward to students returning in the fall and producing research and generating posters like this to showcase their research. It's, uh, I think it's a really good experience. It teaches you how to deal with complex graphics, and how to present to an audience. So it's a great learning experience for our students, and just looking forward to them coming back in the fall and uh, getting back into this type of work.